Hey everyone, welcome to Get Dot. My name is Amanda and this is my kitchen. Normally on this channel, I do cooking videos. I'm a home cook and I like to cook without recipes and show you how I do that process. But today I wanted to do a product review. Several of my friends asked me to do a video on this new mop that I bought. It's a vacuum, cordless vacuum mop and so I'm like, you know, everyone pretty much, unless I think you have like a 1970s house that has carpet, and if you do, come on, people update. Everyone has hard surface floors in their kitchen, and so I don't think it's that far of a stretch to talk about this mop because it's been a life changer. I absolutely love it. So let's dive into the review. This is my cat, Magic. She's showing she approves of the box, if nothing else. Okay, so this is the box. It's from Tenco. It's the Floor 1 S3. This is not a cheap product. It was about $400 on Amazon. It's got smart technology, which is one of the reasons why it actually sold me. There is a little bit cheaper model that doesn't have the smart technology, and I'm like, really, does my mop need to be smart? But the thing that sold me was people's reviews that said that it had smart sensing technology and it did the self-cleaning and a mop that self-cleaned itself sold me so hard. And I'm going to talk about that because it really is awesome. So this vacuums and mops at the same time. And I will go over some of the how to use it and everything. So I quickly want to show you why getting a vacuum mop combo was so important to me. We recently bought a new construction house and it's got a lot of hard floors. So here's my messy office and then dining kitchen. I have this huge big open space, all of that hard surface and around the corner. So I wanted something where I wasn't sweeping and then mopping and then sweeping and you see like my cat sheds. I've got a dog that also sheds. There's so much dog hair and it gathers up, you know, food crumbs. So let's get to the mopping. All right, so I'm going to, so this still has some water from last time, but I'm gonna fill it up and this is the solution that came with it and they do recommend that you use their solution. I haven't tried anything else, so I don't know if you use any other product, you know, if it would work or not. I feel like attention to detail was made when creating this product. There's actually a little divot right here. So when you go to pour the product, it leans up right against into that divot and it makes it where it's less likely to spill. You know, like sometimes when you pour stuff and it dribbles all down the side, this divot right here that they put in the product is just perfect. And you're only supposed to use about a cap full and you're gonna see their amazing results. Also, before we move on, it comes with a um, cleaning brush, which I haven't had to use because the self-cleaning cycle so far has been amazing. And it comes with an extra roller brush. And on that side, an extra filter. And I love how they included a place to store all of their extras on the base. So this comes off. That's the base itself right here. I don't remember off the bat uh, um, how heavy it is. I'll have to look that up and I'll put it across the screen during edit. It's, you know, pretty heavy, but it's got a self propelled feature. So as you are mopping, it just pulls itself along and makes it so incredibly easy. Now, one of my, like I said, my absolute favorite thing is I don't have to sweep at all. Now, if you have a big surface that you're doing and you have big clumps of that pet hair, you know, if you take a second to pick up the really big clumps, that will help because it'll make it where it won't clog up because the storage area for the hair isn't huge. But even if you don't, I'll show you, it's just perfectly fine. I'm gonna leave the, cl the clumps this time. All right, so you put your foot on it, it tilts back, you push the start button is like so easy to use. Let me see, let me back up where I'm actually on the camera. How it just like, I mean, with one finger, it just pulls forward. It's so amazing. All right, here's a good example of something. For 
for a sticky test. I'm gonna show you. This is some strawberry syrup, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the floor. Oh, I hate wasting food, but let's see. Can you see that? Yes, you can. All right, so I'm gonna show you how it mops it up. Oh, I actually got that in one pass. So that's awesome. I haven't actually used it for a big spill, spill like that. Okay, so when it sees something that's extra dirty, it turns red like that. So then you know, hey, let's go over that area a couple extra times. So it actually detects dirtier areas. And that 96 is the battery life. So it started at 100. You'll see that battery go down pretty quickly, but I can do my entire downstairs, which I showed you is pretty big without the battery dying. So I think for most households, that'll be good. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um, mop everything but my office. And then I'm gonna show you how good a job, like how much actually disgusting dirt this thing picks up. There's my model who is about to scamper away. So I didn't do everything, but I did enough to show you a little, you know, how it would work. So I mopped this area. I didn't mop under the table. I just went around it today because, you know, just going fast. Underneath those chairs, you know, always gets tons of food crumbs. The kids like to sit there to eat lunch. And then crumbs, you know, all along in the kitchen. I did leave one edge around the corner unmopped because I want to show you how even though this mop doesn't have a side sweeping brush it will pick up crumbs. So I didn't mop along this edge right here so, and you can see that it's quite dog hairy and um, now it's not of course going to get on top of that but let's see if it'll pick up over here. It doesn't do an amazing, um, like perfect job along getting along the edges of the wall, but it does a really 
good job. I mean, there is a you know couple hairs left, but it picked up most of it. And while I was filming that, there was a piece of something sticky that had stuck to the floor. I didn't even see it with my eyes. It kind of blended in with the grain of the wood at first, but the smart detector realized there was something sticky, put it into auto gear and got it up. And as soon as it sensed it, I looked and I, I saw it with my eyes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally even missed that. But my, you know, smart mop got it. Okay, so mopping this whole big area, um, and I didn't do a super precise job today, but because I'm just trying to do this as a review, I used about half of the water and cleaning solution. So I can, you know, I would still have enough to do my office and like I didn't do down in this hallway. Usually if I do the entire downstairs, I go through a whole cleaning container, if not a little extra. Um, depends on how dirty the floors are. And then this is the cleaning tank. And um, this is like disgusting, gross water. Okay, so before I empty it out, I actually, what when you're done mopping, you just put this on the charging base. Charging has commenced, auto detecting whether to run self-cleaning cycle. Please begin self-cleaning cycle. Okay, so this time it didn't tell me that I needed to empty this out because there's still enough room in it. Sometimes if this is too full, it'll tell me empty before- Please clean dirty water tank. Okay, now it's telling me to clean the dirty water tank, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the cleaning cycle. So on the top here, there's a button. Start self-cleaning. And it is actually- Cleaning the roller, it cleans the, it just, it runs itself like a little uh, washing machine, basically. Cleaning debris channel. It gets quite loud. So I'll put this in the closet and I'll just shut the door. It doesn't take that long though. Ooh, and there, Tank empty. Please refill water and cleaning solution. Okay, so there's not enough in here for it to keep going. So I'm going to refill this and then we'll continue. Okay, so I filled this back up with water and cleaning solution. Snap it in and do the cycle again. I've never had to do that step before. Usually, well, I guess because I usually have enough solution in there to do it. You don't want to leave the dirty water in here because it, you know, says that, and makes sense that it would, when you come back to it, it would be, -cleaning cycle complete. that it would Please be very dirty stinky. Water tank and debris channel. All right. So now we're going to clean the dirty water tank and you're going to be like absolutely cleaning cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. I will say sometimes it reminds me of those checkout stands at the grocery store where you're like, I'm doing the thing. So, you know, smart technology is only so smart. <sighs> my tripod isn't quite tall enough for me. But anyway, I'm, so I'm very lucky that my, ooh, that's bad. My supply closet right there is right next to my powder room, which makes it very easy. So I will take this and look at it and it's not that bad. So I'm just gonna set it in the sink. Then I take this part off and set it in the sink. And this is the part if you don't like gross things. Um, this is all the pet hair that it gathered up. So I go ahead and put this in the trash can next to the toilet. And then, I mean, I never thought I'd be showing my toilet on YouTube, but here we go. This is, fascinatingly gross. Look how dirty that water is. That is so gross. That was my floor. So if you have crawling children, that is why you want this thing. I also like to flush it instead of putting it down the sink just because there are, might be hairs and stuff in that water. So you don't really want that to all go down your sink. And yeah, there's a couple of hairs that were down in there still. So I usually will rinse this out and pour it down my toilet one more time. 
and then give this thing a good rinse and assemble it all back together and then I'll show you the roller brush okay so it did the cleaning for me this isn't going to be dirty usually I mean there'll be a, like a finger swipe to get it clean yeah so this time I didn't do any sweeping beforehand. That's why it is definitely more hairy than usual. Like if you do a really light sweeping, then this part won't be as gross, but that's what I wanted to show you. You don't have to sweep beforehand and it catches it all. And honestly, it saves so much time to be able to just, you know, have a little bit of gross at the end. Oh yeah, okay, that's gross. I'm setting this on the floor, but I will pick it up. This is like so clean right now. Like, I don't feel bad about touching this. It is clean. Now, yes, I would wash my hands. I'm not gonna eat after touching this, but it, the way it does it like its own little washing machine, the roller is so clean. And it's ready to go now for the next time. And it snaps in there really easy. Now, sometimes I have a hard time getting this piece back on, I've noticed. Well, at that time went on pretty easy. So that's my fairly thorough review of the Tenco Floor S1 vac cor Smart Cordless Vacuum Mop. Um, I've had it for about a month and a half. I've used it several times. I love how clean it gets my floors and it's so simple to use. I haven't even read the instruction book and I'm one of those people who actually usually does read instruction books but this was just so easy to use. Just pulling out of the box and using it, I haven't needed to like do any troubleshooting or anything like that. By the way, this video is totally not sponsored. I did pay for this vacuum mop, but I was at my wit's end trying to find a solution that got my floors clean without spending, you know, hours each time that I needed to get the floors clean. And I feel comfortable just pulling this out using it and then putting it back up. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed me, consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I'm not a product review channel. I definitely mostly stick to cooking videos, but if you did enjoy this and you're one of my regular subscribers and you would like me to do maybe some other kitchen product reviews in the future, let me know. It is something that I do like to talk about products that I love. So anyway, I will hopefully have a link in the description box below. I ordered this off Amazon and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching one of my most recent cooking videos or one of my favorites, my Instapot mac and cheese video. Until the next video, goodbye.